Hello everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm a community health worker with NJ SNAP Ed. NJ SNAP Ed is a federally funded program aimed at teaching New Jersey residents how to lead healthier lives and be more physically active, all while on a budget. Now making healthier choices and being physically active are important, but it's equally as important to remain safe. So today we are going to cover a few key topics regarding COVID-19 and how to keep yourself as safe as possible. Now we have been dealing with this pandemic for quite some time, and we all may be beginning to experience what is known as COVID fatigue. COVID fatigue is just a general feeling of being tired of dealing with and hearing about the pandemic. Now this may cause some people to start not following the guidelines as closely. However, it is still extremely important to follow the guidelines as outlined by the CDC, as not doing so can result in a negative impact on your mental and physical health, as well as the health of those around you. Some common symptoms for COVID-19 include fever, cough, shortness of breath, new loss of taste or smell, headache, and or sore throat. However, some people may not be experiencing any symptoms at all, but they still may be carrying the disease. In addition, it is important to note that certain populations, such as the elderly, those with underlying conditions, and those with compromised immune systems are at higher risk. So if you or a family member fall into any of these categories, it is important to take extra precautions. A common way for COVID-19 to spread is through contact with an infected person. Whether this is direct contact, such as shaking hands, hugging, or kissing, as well as through indirect contact, such as someone talking, coughing, or sneezing within a close distance of you. Another way to contract COVID-19 is by touching a contaminated surface and then touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. Now, I know this all sounds pretty scary, but the good news is there are steps you can take to help protect you and those around you. Social distancing is an important tool in protection. Social distancing means keeping at least six feet of distance between you and those who do not live in your immediate household. If you're having trouble imagining what six feet looks like, I know I do, imagine it as being just about the height of your average doorway. Another important step is wearing a mask. COVID-19 can be spread through respiratory droplets and wearing a mask will help minimize the spread of your droplets to someone else. A mask should be worn anytime you're in a public space, including outdoor spaces when social distancing cannot be maintained. In order for a mask to be fully effective, it must be worn over your nose and mouth. Masks come in many different varieties, including homemade, cloth, now it's important to note that masks are most effective when they have two or more layers of breathable fabric. So if you're using something like this as your mask, it's important to fold it down so you have two layers covering your nose and mouth. We also have surgical masks and N95s. N95s are not recommended for use by the general public and should be reserved for healthcare providers. Remember, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. Please pause on the following slide for further information. One of the most important things one can do to help prevent the spread of any disease or infection is washing your hands. Now, when hand washing is not possible, such as when entering or exiting a grocery store, hand sanitizer is the next best option. Hand sanitizer needs to be at least 60% alcohol in order to be effective. As mentioned, it's important to get between your fingers, the backs of your hands, and your wrists. In order to keep track of the 20 seconds, you can sing the alphabet song or the happy birthday song twice. If you come into contact with an infected person or begin to experience symptoms, you should get tested. There are currently two different types of tests available, the nasal swab and the saliva test. Now some of us may have heard that the nasal swab can be a bit uncomfortable, but this is just a small price to pay to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. There are many locations you can get tested, such as local health departments, federally qualified health centers, urgent cares, local pharmacies, or private testing sites. 
I would suggest calling ahead as some of these places do require appointments. Also, be sure to check your local and county resources as there may be a pop-up site near you. If you receive a positive test result, it is important to inform everyone that you have had contact with within the last 14 days, otherwise known as contact tracing. This will allow all those individuals to get tested and to monitor themselves for symptoms. New Jersey recently released an app to help with contact tracing called COVID Alert MJ. This video is only meant to serve as a quick overview of some methods to help keep yourself safe. Please keep yourself informed of all your state and local guidelines and consult a medical professional should you be experiencing any symptoms or have any further questions. Another great source of information is www.cdc.gov. Thank you all for taking this time to learn a little bit more about COVID-19. Enjoy your upcoming lesson.